Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Hope aka Little Ginge and today we are back in Paradise Creek Sanctuary and we're, we will be building a little habitat for some lemurs. Uh, we'll be making a habitat for both the uh, black and white ruffed lemurs which I think were added in the, around the same time as the European pack was released. I think it was a birthday um, like release they added in another animal to celebrate i think their second birthday i'm not sure i think that's it though i think that's when the black and white rough lemurs was added but then also they are paired with a few little red rough lemurs as well gotta gotta add in our little ginger ginger uh, friends there because if you don't know i'm also a redhead so i i love anything with the lovely red hair uh but yes today we are building this lovely habitat i built this lovely bridge and did some landscaping but however the first part of this footage got uh, corrupted unfortunately so the landscaping and bu um, initial building of this bridge did get corrupted and lost and so I don't have any of that but the rest of the, of the video and the majority of the video uh, of me building this habitat is here and we can watch it and see it and it goes into the rest of this video which is very nice um I tried very hard to make this like a little paradise for these lemurs. I wanted it to be feel very lush and very tropical and very nice. Um, especially for the guests as well, because the um, the boat ride goes all the way around this island because this is one of the habitats along the boat ride, seeing as that will be hopefully the main kind of aim of this park will be a nice boat ride where you can go through and see where some of these animals will be living from the point of view of in a boat. Uh, there is a point where you can see into the habitat pretty well, actually, from the from the land. As you're walking across, you can w look over the river into their habitat. And it looks... There are many people gathering there when I uh, log on now. Um, so that's always, always nice to see. And here you can see me building the opposite side of the river that you would see that would be empty for the majority of the things. I think the... Most of the park will happen on the right side. I think that's the right side of the of the river. Whereas this left side is kind of just barren. I didn't want it to be when you're on the boat ride. I wanted it to, to feel like you were in the middle of the jungle. So I've used these tree trunk um, rock pieces from the aquatic pack um, to seem like there was lots of trees all packed in together. Uh, I realised it kind of looked... I don't know if it was because in the plant as your camera you're obviously quite a bit above the park i didn't know if it looked really empty because i was at that more above angle and didn't have any of the leaves but i do eventually add more of these i think they're karok karok trees i think i do add more in but further down so as if their leaves and branches branch out to the top of these um tree trunks as well so it looks a bit more dense and full because those those tree trunks are nicely as well there's a big old big old path that run up the side of the river that has a lot of the staff buildings on or at least i'm going to move the staff buildings over there because i do have a few around the entrance of the park that just look a bit out of place so i am going to move the other staff buildings back there and it means that that bridge does have a purpose it's the way that the keepers enter the habitat because i didn't want to have a bridge that got in the way of the boat ride going all the way around and I wasn't really sure how to build a bridge that went over the boat and so the boat would go under it so I just decided to make one that goes around which was pretty helpful because I think it looks really nice as well with the um when you're on the boat you're going towards this bridge and it looks pretty pretty nice and tropical with the bamboo so all in all it was a good design decision i think and it actually ties in with the little house i end up making the lemurs which i'm doing now it's uh, also all made of bamboo and the thatched roof and a lot of the other buildings in the park are made with this bamboo and thatch as well so it's all themed together very nicely which is good i um i struggled with the plants with this one a bit at first I knew the lemurs would be climbing in a lot of the trees because a lot of the trees that I use are climbable and so I wanted it to look nice but also be somewhere guests could still see the lemurs when they're in the trees um, and so all the trees that are down now I end up getting rid of and planning out a bit more. I selected like four or five 
that I wanted to use or types of trees that I wanted to use and ended up picking from those instead of scrolling through the list over and over again like I'm doing now I can't I can never decide there's always too many or I lose what trees I want and then go oh, I can't find them again or no and so can never find them but uh eventually we get there I, I liked using these rocks to like outline the little island as well. I liked the outlining of it and making it um, seem like a proper piece of land. Because usually when you sort of carve out with the terrain tool, it never looks quite right, in my opinion. It always looks a bit sort of janky. Um, and so using the rocks made it look like it was meant to be there. And the people have built around it. And so here's me picking those trees. I used the fo I really like the foxtail palm trees that I used in this. I think they look really nice and add more of the ele element of waterfront tropicalness without being a coconut palm tree. Um, I want to apologise for my voice. I sound a bit nasally, but I'm currently a bit ill. I've got a really sore throat. <laughs> so um, sorry if my voice sounds a bit off today or a bit flat almost. But um, that will be why. I really enjoyed building this build building this build a good sentences hope i um had lots of fun doing it i liked making a smaller habitat for some small animals because when you look on the is it zoopedia i think that's what it is when you look on there the lemurs don't actually need a lot of room and so obviously i want to give them as much room as they need but they luckily didn't need a massive enclosure like some of the other monkeys might do uh, because they are so little I also custom built a lot of their climbing frames, not that they're currently using it, when I make the cinematic, I've already made the cinematic shots, but annoyingly, they're all staying, all the lemurs are staying further towards the bridge end of the habitat, rather than this front end, where I spent ages building a really nice uh, climbing frame for them, and they're just climbing in the trees I put down, which is, I guess, my fault for choosing climbable trees. Um, but when... I've placed like their food and stuff in the middle of their climbing frame so they eventually will and do come over when there's food in them and so the guests that are stood on the land can see which is always nice uh, but they are like always like you buy it, they, it always happens with dogs as well you buy dogs specific toys uh, but then all they want to chew on is the cardboard toilet roll holder that you accidentally left on your bathroom floor when they came in that is, I think, feel like the story of every every pet owner's life is that their animal never wants to eat the toys that they put down. And so apparently it's the same for lemurs in Planet Zoo. You can build them nice habitats, but they will not use them. They will rather just stay in one corner of the habitat rather than being perceived by lots of people, <laughs> which is always ideal. Um, annoyingly, the boat ride can't run unless it's in a full loop. I'm hoping to try and fix it that it doesn't have to be in a full loop and can just be uh, straight to a different station. But I don't think that's the case. I do think it has to be a loop. So maybe I'll end up making it more circular and uh, we'll have lots more of these tree trunks hiding a middle section of the uh, of the park where all the uh, all the staff buildings are hidden. I used a lot of the new climbing frame things that I haven't really used up until now. So like these natural natural platforms and the little bridges. I think they are very cute and very nice. A nice addition to make a few more interesting climbing features for animals. I, I know when I was streaming I've used the bridges for a red panda enclosure in one of my franchise zoos. That was very nice. I like that. It was quite cute to see them waddle over the, uh, the little bridge. And I've seen a few of the lemurs use it as well. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to let you watch the rest of this speed build. I hope you've enjoyed the video and enjoy the rest of this speed build. And enjoy the cinematics at the end. And um, let me know if you have liked this build. And uh, look forward to seeing more. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any animals you'd specifically like to see in this park. Um, I'm up for anything that's tropical based, I think. There's, no, there's nothing really specific that's needed for this park just tropical i think would be nice <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching if you'd like to subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of my other videos please feel free it helps me out a lot 
give the video a like if you liked it. And if you want to catch me anywhere else, I stream on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, typically. So it'd be fun to see you there. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye bye.